What's going on guys? Jake here, gonna be playing some Pokemon Showdown today with this Trick Room team that I just made. Kind of featuring, I I don't know, all, all the guys, they're all, I kind of, st I started with Torkoal and then built around him, um, but you don't see a lot of these guys in OU very often. You see them all occasionally, I think. Uh, and in particular, I guess I'm excited to use Torkoal, um, not to just set up Sun, but um, to do some massive damage. Cause um, with Choice Specs and Eruption, he basically two KOs uh, Blissey. Let's just pull up that cow. Yeah, so it's it's a pretty high chance to KO with rocks up. It's a what I think would be a guaranteed to hit KO. Let me see. Yeah, so it does some pretty good damage, and then against everything else, it's just some pretty good damage. So that's Torkoal. Got Fire Blast when I get low, and then Earth Power and Solar Beam, and then just a Calm Mind Hatterene, Ashaka Trick Room, three attacking Stag Attacka. Trick Room, Stealth Rock, um, Bronzong. This was basically a set that I found on Smogon from like, I don't know how many years ago from X and Y. But I wanted to use the Macho Brace because without it, I'm I'm uh, faster than faster than like Sobro, Slow King and stuff. So I wanted to be as slow as I could be. And now I can do a little more damage with Gyro Ball. And then um, Trick Room, three attacks, Slowbro, Heavy Duty Boots, and then Trick Room, three attacks. Executor with Citrus Bearing Harvest. So this kind of works with Torkoal. But yeah, so four Trick Roomers, pretty much what I, how I've been playing it is I'm trying to just like get up Trick Room as often as I can. So like when there's one turn left, I'm trying to switch into um, one of my Trick Roomers um, that I'll be able to set up a Trick Room. So then I can just kind of like have it up as often as I can. All right, so he has Sand. Not really though but it can turn off our sun, but I think it's still a 2 KO on Hip Out on Eruption. Um, I'm thinking Bronzong's a fine lead, so I'm just gonna lead with Bronzong. And he goes Tox Specs. Hmm. I'm gonna click Stealth Rocks, and then I'm gonna hit Trick Room, and either switch or attack. All right, I just got burned, so like I'm not gonna be doing really any damage. It makes me wanna switch into like something and go Hatterene. If this is Underwear Clefable, then Hatterene can't beat it, but it almost beats like everything else on his team. Oh, but this is probably Haze too, so. kind of curious because I don't I haven't faced the toxic packs since I've been testing the team I don't think um, just see how much everything does without any boosts slow does actually quite a lot stack attack as earthquake I'm just gonna go slow bro he knocks off and Now I'm a double into Torkoal. I'm thinking he would switch, because I switched in, switched in on him like I had something for him, so hopefully he does. He goes to Padon. I think this might still be a KO. Uh, yep. Yeah. So we're just gonna wrap. Oh, and I didn't pay attention to my, my health. Didn't pay attention to my health was not at 100%. But also, I, either way, I think he's more spadef than this set. I think it was like a 95, maybe. Yeah, so he's definitely more spadef. So, um, on this turn, I'm going to switch into Bronzong. Trick Room again. And... I think I want to explode now. I just don't want anything else to take damage and I want to get as many turns as I can out of this and then I get a free switch into something. So, Earth Power actually does a lot, but my Torque only has got one turn left and I didn't like try and keep uh, rocks off the field because he got him up. I could have magic bounced him, but. Mm. 
I think I go Torkoal. I think I Earth Power. I don't think he would go into one of the flying types. Yeah, Blissey. And this, that's actually kind of fine. I'm just gonna Earth Power again. See what he does. He soft boils. Uh, and on this turn, I think I'm gonna switch into Stack Attack. Uh, or Slow Bro. I can keep this around as a sack and uh, get into a trick rumor. I think I'll stack attack uh, as he soft boils again, and I'm a trick room. He goes to pout on, and is this a two? If it's a two at KO, then. This could kind of set up for a sweep. Not at all. Although he didn't didn't take as much. What if he had zero defense? No, it's still not. Alright, I'm gonna go hard at Executor. double out into Hatterene. I think he would go into Blissey. Corviknight. Calm Mind. Is he Brave Birds? I think he's a... Uh, I might, I'm slower than Toxpex though, so I'm just going to Mystical Fire. Gonna miss go fire again. And now I'm gonna go slow, bro. Trick room again. <laughs> I think there's still a chance to attack a good sweep. If I get a kill on like Hip Howdon or Corviknight. I do have my Shaka, I believe, still. Blissey comes out. I'm gonna stack attack. Uh. Does he teleport? Nope. Um, the most damage that I can do to Hippowdon is with Gyro Ball, so I'm just gonna click Gyro Ball. And I think whatever I go for, it'll be a 2 a KO on this. Um, but yeah, I've been having fun with the team. It's, uh, like, even, even in games like this where you lose quite a few guys, like, they, some of them have turned around. I think most of them actually have. I'm not sure about this one, how this one's going to go, but... All right, how much does Earthquake do? Oh, uh, looks like I still take it. Oh, and I crit him. I don't think, either way, I would have, basically I end up with a turn of Trick Room. If I didn't crit him, he would have Earthquaked me, I would have lived it, and then I would have knocked him out with the next Gyro Ball. And he could have switched to Corvin Knight, so, and then probably Roosted. So that's, that's a pretty big deal, actually. I'm not gonna try and say it's not, because I'm pretty sure it made a big difference, but. I think we have a pretty good shot at winning now. So bro will be at like 100%. So we should be able to get another trick room off with him. I think whatever he wants to go into is gonna die. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm kind of surprised that Torkoal does so much damage too with the Eruption. And then Earth Power. Um, I was pretty worried about Heatran, but 
I've got Earthquake on this, Earthquake on, I think both of the both of these guys. So E Train can get dealt with, but it still is kind of an issue. And then um, Bronzong's just pretty good, like pretty good lead in. I just have to not explode super early. So like this game, I don't think I exploded that early. Um, is he gonna try and double around? At plus one, Earthquake kills. No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna predict, so. What does he do? Scald? But I should live and, ah, but he burns me. Well, that actually probably cost me the game because I should've, I, I shouldn't have risked the burn. I should've went Torkoal. I'm a trick room now with this guy or would it be better just to switch into like executor and keep this thing healthier? Mm. I think there's still a chance between executor and slow to win. I'm gonna just sack Torkoal and then go executor. Quick trick room. And then, uh, I'm just gonna start energy balling. Goes Tornadus. That does not do much of anything. I think he would Hurricane. I'm gonna go Slowbro. I think Slowbro can take it all right. But maybe not. Depends on his set. Uh, but I think he's probably like, it looks like he's a defogging one, so. Oh, wait, no, he's got Corviknight. So maybe he's not. I was thinking he'd just have more HP. All right, I'm just gonna go back into Executor. So he goes Blissey. And... I'm just gonna Energy Ball. I'm gonna Trick Room again. See toxics me, that sucks. Um I do have another citrus, so I think I'm just gonna go hard slow bro. that citrus I should be able to come in it be in like I think about the same amount after stealth rocks and toxic depending on like if I switch into an attack or whatever I, sh I definitely should have switched out though into probably executor on toxpex or probably this actually um I honestly don't even want to play it out, so I'm just gonna forfeit. I'm. I don't think there would have like really turned into anything I could win. It didn't seem like I was going anywhere after I got burned. But that was my bad. All right. So this guy got a ghost type. So gotta watch out for that for exploding. Um. Volcarona. Hmm. Leading off with Slowbro almost seems better than a Bronzong. But I do have always have explosions, so. And I should be able to always take one from Dragapult. And still get up the Trick Room. Alright, he goes Tapu Fini. Uh, I'm a Trick Room. He gives me the scarf. He's got my macho brace. If he wants to give that to one of my other guys, that would not be a problem. I think I'm just gonna go Hatterene. I don't, I wouldn't think he has haze, but maybe. I think Hatterene's fine. 
How old though? He could get my leftovers. Hmm. I don't really want to give him any items. I'm going to tr trick room again and see if he tricks. I'm going to trick room again. All right. I'm going to switch now. <laughs> I just was thinking maybe he would. I'm going to go slow, bro. He goes vocal Rona. Um... I'm gonna go into Torval now. I think he might go Corviknight. If not, no, he just goes this. And uh, Eruption does a lot to this still, I'm pretty sure, so. Yeah. Future Sight. I'm just gonna Eruption again. Although I could um, switch into, because he's probably going Tapu Fini. So I could switch into Bronzong to, how much did uh, Surf do? Uh, surf looks like it might kill me. It's a roll though. I'm gonna go Bronzong instead. And then Trick Room. Oh yeah, the sun's up. My bad. And because of that, I can kind of switch out for more freely without fearing uh, taking a lot from Surf. Mm. I'm gonna try going into Hatterene. Yeah, and he goes right into this. Oh, I don't know how much I need, how many boosts I need to beat this. Slow King. Is that, do they always run Assault Vest? Plus one, plus one. Yeah. It's not worth it. I'm just gonna go hard and stack attacka. And then. I'm gonna Stone Edge. Alrighty. I wonder if that was a roll. Cause that was a crit. It was a not a roll. It was if without the crit I would not have killed him. Um and he goes into this. There's not something I'm missing, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he he's gonna die. But he made double. I'm just gonna go for gyro ball. Um do I die to Volcarona from this range? Or from 100%? I don't think I do. I do not. And Corviknight probably kills me with a bulk, uh, body press. Nope. He doesn't. Hmm. He doesn't. I'm gonna trick room. And I think I'm fine to go down and stone edge. And then I get another crit. And then I can go into something else. And uh, he's really, really low, so. Hmm. Hadreen? And then just start calm, mind calm minding, I think. I don't think, uh... I mean, if this has haze, then that sucks, but... Or taunt. No, I'm, ma I'm magic bounce. Okay. I'm even slower, not a problem really. And I think I want to ha attack him now. So I think I uh, I just want to check which one is stronger. 
Um, oh, and he would have he would have been the scarf set. Tabufini scarfed hat. Psy shock would be stronger. And he just goes right into Dragapult. Alrighty. We take those. I was just thinking that I can easily uh, I'd be at higher HP when he when he dies. I think I'd just uh, Psy shock this right away. Even if he's the bulky one. Yeah, it's almost a KO. Yep. Apparently, he ain't bulky. Alrighty, we gotta win. Hatterin got to sweep. Let's get another one. Silk Smooth. This guy's got a cool team. Torkoal looks really good. Swamper can probably take two. Probably he's not too KO'd. Um, from a from eruption. Uh, Bronzong not looking good because of Blaziken. So I think I'd rather just lead with Slowbro, and he leads Bisharp. And I kind of want to just Trick Room, but this thing is really useful. Hmm. Excuse me. I could go Bronzong hard. I just need to get Trick Room up, pretty much, and then I can deal with this. I'm going to click Trick Room. Knocks off my boots. And now I'm gonna go stack attack. Uh. And then I'm gonna go Torkoal. Alrighty. And now we are going to double check how much damage. Because if it's a 2 at KO on Swampert, I'm definitely going for Eruption. And it's not, damn it. That makes me want to go for a solar beam. Oh! I've not done that yet with this. Just being locked in, like, most of the time I felt like um, eruption is always better, but it was not a 2 at KO at all, so that was definitely worth it, I think. And Sober will be at, like, 40%. Uh, I mean, knockoff's coming out. I don't need my Shaka Berry. I wonder how much he takes from an Iron Head. Or knockoff into Iron Head. I would live that. And, uh... I mean, Sack Attack is not terrible, but, I mean... He's, he, he's like, my best switch into this, kind of, right now. And he goes for Sucker Punch. I'm a Trick Room. He could try and flinch me. And I get the trick room up. Uh, I'm just gonna earthquake this time. A little damage is fine. And then, now I'm gonna go Torkoal. I'm, I'm good if I take damage, I'll just fire blast. He misses Leech Seed and that sucks for him. And <laughs> I think everything dies or is too KO'd now from Eruption, so that sucks that he missed. Uh, just because it would have weakened my Eruption. So Dragapult dies from 100%. Bisharp comes out and he'll Sucker Punch me, but he's still, I mean, like, he's still gonna die. And he doesn't Sucker Punch. I don't even think anything kills me from where I'm at, because I've got such high defense. Blaziken. Either way, this is scary because uh, he could SD. But I mean, he doesn't have the sweeping potential. 
<laughs> okay, still just about kills, so I guess, I mean. Flamethrower from Ex Executor can deal with Ferrothorn, so I think it's fine to just do this and hold die after. Actually, no, we won't, because I'll, it'll be like halved. But he'll die in the next one, probably, even though it'll be super weakened. But yeah, I was saying, even with this, like, Blaze can, he can SD, but the speed boosts don't really matter because of Trick Room. And... I think Hatterene can take one. Yep. I don't have Trick Room on it, but I mean, at least he'll kill it. Strain Kiss Kill. And we'll go for that. As he dies to recoil, anyways. So let's see what he goes into. Tapu Pulu. I think I don't want to switch. I just want to stay in a mystical fire and then I'll go bronze song after. Horn leech. This is kind of nice because I'll die and he won't get as much uh, health back because my HP is low, but I'll still be pretty healthy. Okay, now we go bronze song and trick room first. So he goes this. I'm just gonna go hard executor. I don't think there's a reason not to. Let's see what he's gonna do. I don't know what he's thinking about. Leech seed. Oh right. Well that definitely worked out. Um and I think I just flamethrower. Body press, he's faster, but it does not matter. I didn't actually think about that. How he'd be faster. Just gotta click Tapu Bulu now. Just gotta click it. I think if it really matter comes down to it, I can just switch out slow bro once and then back into it. I should be able to guarantee survive whatever and kill him with such bomb. From even from hundred percent I think, so I'm just gonna flamethrower. That's a two at KO as he stone edges and flamethrower should kill him. Boom. Alright, let's get another one. Alright, we got stall, salt on me. I do have um, three guys with fire. I mean, and the, this guy's got rock, so Shininja shouldn't be too difficult. Um, Ditto will be annoying, but I mean, it's scarfed. Unless it's the stupid air balloon Ditto that I've seen. Which would actually really work out for them in this, in this game. I think I'm going to leave bronze on. He goes tox specs. I'm gonna I'm just gonna stealth stealth rock turn one. I'm expecting like scald or knockoff, and then after that I'll probably go into. Just about anybody besides Dak Attacka, I think. It's got to be um, the Unaware Clefable. So Hatterene's not going to be able to set up on it. Unless it's pretty weak, so he knocks off. That's fine. I could just... Uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm a Stealth Rock. Oh my god, I clicked Stealth Rock first turn. I thought I clicked... <laughs> I thought I clicked Trick Room. That was my bad. <laughs> I was trying to get up two layers of Stealth Rocks, dude. Come on. Um, 
throwing him off. <laughs> Alright, Skull, does he get a burn now? No burn. And... I think I go slow, bro. As he recovers. And kind of expect just about anything else to come out besides this. So I'm going to go Torkoal. But I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he could just stay in. Hopefully he doesn't. He goes Ditto. That's fine. Let's see what Ditto he is. He's the Air Balloon Ditto. Fun. I think Eruption definitely kills. Um... Let's do my own did my own Torkoal. Oh yeah. But I live and he dies. After Stealth Rocks guaranteed KO. 50% chance. We take those. Sweet. So Ditto being gone is huge. Got two layers up of Stealth Rocks and won the speed tie. I think he would Oh wait actually. Unless he has zero IVs, I'm pretty sure he'd be faster. Pretty sure that's how that works. So it probably wasn't a speed tie like I thought. Unless that's not how it works. Then, then I did win the speed tie. All right, Blissey. I usually, I would stay in if there was two. Mm, actually, probably, I, I don't think I want to stay in here anyways. I was thinking like the damage still be nice, but uh, if I could avoid rocks, that would be cool. Going to Hatterene, but no, oh, no, he's it's probably the rocker, right? He just teleports. Okay. And sun is still up, so my mystical fire will be pretty strong. Eagle's Fable. I wanted to see how much damage this does without any boosts. Oops. A fable. Is it Calm Mind? I don't know which one it is. Either way, I don't do anything. Um. He could be Flamethrower. So I'm just gonna go slow, bro. As he Calm Minds. I'm a Trick Room. I mean, Stack Attack, uh, Bronze Onk, both of them, I'm pretty sure knock this thing out with Gyro Ball. So it doesn't really matter that he's boosting. And Slowbro should be fine. Um, I was talking with, uh, some, with, uh, some people that, um, that I got to know from, from streaming and everything. Um, and he goes right out into this. Pretty sure I just go Torkoal, that's fine. I mean, was he Will-O-Wisp? He protects. I don't really lose anything from just erupting, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, but just about uh, the just just about getting back to streaming, um, Jones and Kaka and SG Vids, um, if you guys are watching, um, but, uh, if, if anybody's watching who, you know, isn't in the discord, um, hasn't watched me stream, that's, that's what I was doing for the last, like, like six months, but then had just taken a break, uh, just because of work and stuff kind of changing and also then moving. So he's just stalling out my trick room and being a little annoying, but like, this is going to die to another one hopefully i'm pretty sure like 50 percent is like the min or just about average yeah he just dies or he just forfeits sweet um but all, all that to say i, I know it's probably kind of like awkward i'm not sure how to say it but i just wanted to say that um i'd like to get back to streaming sometime soon but uh i just want to be able to do when i do it um get back to it and be a little be consistent with it like i was because it was like from from like may to January pretty much I was 
pretty consistent with it for me and, and that when it wasn't even a whole lot but um with working full time and stuff it's um it, it still felt like a lot for me but i'd like to get back to it so i'm starting with you know doing these weekly um which i've been i mean i love playing pokemon so i mean i'm gonna be playing pokemon or playing games either way but it's just it's not not exactly the same streaming and stuff just because i yeah, I'm married, and, and you got you got takes your focus off of other things. But um, I should pick a guy. Torkoal looks really good. Besides for Slow King, um, but I can always go for Solar Beam, and I believe that's a two at KO. I think Bronze. Ah, oh, and he's got Weavile. Uh, I'm gonna leave Rod Long. He leads Cartana. I'm gonna trick him right away. But uh, yeah, I think I think I finished all my thoughts on on that. But oh, and I'm dead. So he's choice banded probably, right? So I'm gonna go stack attack on trick room. Damn, that does so much. Um, what? All right, uh, stack attacka, Cartana. He's choice banded. Damn, that does so much damage. Well, this dying is actually like this isn't due. It does. Uh, well, Sobro would be able to beat Clefable. But yeah, this this really sucks. I'm just gonna go for Gyro Ball. You go Slow King. Kind of surprised. Hmm. Executor or Hatterene is what I'm thinking. Well, the Subro could work. I'm just gonna go Executor. He slacks off. It's fine. Let's go for Energy Ball. As he goes Clef Fable. And I'm gonna go right back out into Stack Attack. Or actually, Slow Bro. A Moonblast. And Trick Room again. South Rocks. It is what it is. And I'm gonna go Torkoal now. I think you would go into Corviknight. Any Moon Blasts? That's fine. And I'm just gonna Fire Blast. Let's see how much it does. Not much. I mean, it's a decent chunk, but not not much. Executor and then maybe f uh, energy ball probably. Flamethrowers would be boosted, so that'll be good. This is a rough one. Back into slow row. He doubles into guard chomp. Hmm. Man, does Hatterene live from Choice Panda Cartana? No. I mean, Smart Strike just... Yeah, not at all. I don't think there's a way to beat that Cartana. I mean, I, I have to have Trick Room up. Well, uh... I'll trick room and then go executor, I guess. Earthquake activates my citrus and 
Hopefully he's like scared of a dragon move. And I'm a double in the stack attacker. Huh? All right. And can go for stone edge. Uh, Cause that hits this harder. Okay. And uh, you know, we'll go for another one, I think. Let's see, is that defensive? Oh, he's, we saw it, right? Yeah, he's got leftovers. So actually that could be either or still, I'm pretty sure. Garchomp, SD, 31% max. I did 31%. What about tank? Um, okay, yeah, so it's offensive. Let's see if he goes for, oh, there, that's what we wanted. Anything besides attacking me. Um, and Gyro Ball doesn't kill. A crit could kill, though. Do I need this? Nah, we're just going to let it die, I think. I mean, I probably need it, but... It'd be nice to not have anything else die. He goes Corbin Knight. He's Rocky Helmet. Uh, I don't die to rocks, so I can switch out. I'm not going to be useful, though, at all, unless I... I'm just going to Stone Edge. Nice. Okay. Um, that's not cool. It'd be nice to know if he's got Brave Bird or Body Press. He, I could have Flamethrower, so I kind of think he would maybe switch. Because I brought it in like I do. Either way, that's fine. Because I hope... Uh, actually, it's not. No, I think Karshana just wins, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he just needed a turn. Uh, I'm gonna sack, stack, attack. Uh, does Hatterene live a uh, choice banded plus two knockoff? I do. He goes for a smart strike, though. Does Tor... Mm. Does this live? Nope, everything dies now. Yeah, not having flamethrower on this kind of sucks. Maybe it'd be better. I, I haven't even fought a Heatran. Maybe it'd be better to have a uh, flamethrower on it. So I'm just gonna hit click X. Let me see how long it's been. It's been like 45 minutes. I do, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it to flamethrower, I think. Nah, I don't wanna change it. I'm just gonna go with it. Let's get, I think, uh, one, one or two more, maybe. So an another team without a Heatran. Flamethrower would be nice here. Uh, Bronzong, he's got the Blaziken. Stack, mm, Slowbro. I'm gonna lead Bronzong. As long as he doesn't lead Blaziken. Pretty much. I'm... But even if he does, I guess I could just explode. He leads Kurum. I'm gonna Trick Room and then Stealth Rock. Kind of, I mean, he could Spore. I'm gonna go Hatterene. And would he be, like, would he uh, not stay in here? How much does just a plain side shock do? Amoongus? Does, is it easy to a KO? I'm gonna call mind. He stays in and sludge bombs. Hmm. 
Would have been better if I just high shocked twice, probably. At this point, though, it's still going to be a two at KO, right? So I could just go for another uh, Psy Shock or another um, Calm Mind. But then my Trick Room is going to be done. I'm just going to be really low. I don't really like this. I should have went for Psy Shock first. I'm gonna go Torgol and go for Fire Blast. I don't wanna let uh, Hatterene die, cause like, I think Hatterene was really good. Fire Blast should kill, yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome, just seeing Torgol kill stuff. Yeah, Blaziken. Fire Blast still does a lot, so. I've got fire moves on other guys, so I'm just gonna Fire Blast. <laughs> as a crit, so that mattered. This this guy comes out. Hmm. Both of these don't really want to come on, on come in on this, but at this point, like I kind of just want to keep this because if I get another trick room up, this guy just wins. So. I'm just gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna just go slow, bro. Let's see, Dragon Dances. All right, so that actually works out. So I've got Fizz Def, and he does that. And I could switch hard into Stack Attack, I think, safely. But he's, uh, I'll do it. He's gonna go Corvo uh, Knight after, but it's whatever. I'm just gonna Gyro Ball, or not Gyro Ball, Stone Edge. If he uh, stays in, then how much does it do? Decent. Um, if he stays in, he may have lived, I was gonna say, but. Uh, was he gonna spore? Mm, I don't think I don't think Katarine kills from here. I'm just gonna stone edge again. And if he spores, then I don't have to worry about other things being put to sleep. Go bronzong. Gonna trick room, then gyro ball right away. Yeah, that crit, I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. I keep getting crits. That one I don't think mattered. Okay, looks like it mattered. Uh, I mean, it was a roll, 50% chance. Let's get another one. All right, sun. Sun kind of actually is. Nice for Torkoal, at least. I don't really have... Yep, nope, don't have any fire resist. I think I lead stack attacker because I'm pretty sure he's the only guy that can take a hit from Torkoal and get up the uh, trick room. And he will me. It's not that bad. Hatterene, oh, this guy's got a Heatran, that's cool. We're just gonna Stone Edge. Still a little bit of damage. We'll go Bronzong, Stealth Rock, and maybe uh, something else, we'll see what he does. Just U-turns and did this. Excuse me. Killing this would be nice. So I could just explode. But rocks would be really nice too. 
but I don't have a switch in. If I don't do damage with this, I'm not sure if anything else can kill it. Well, stack attack I could. Just have to hit. I think rocks are really good, so I'm gonna click rocks. And now I've got stack attack. Uh, I'm gonna stone edge. Pretty sure I can take an earthquake from Landorus. So then I can trick him up again after that. Just the rocks on uh, Torkoal will make it so I'm pretty sure he dies from my Torkoal 100%. Um, eruption by eruption. And trick room. Uh. Well, get to keep my shaka, but it's not like I'm gonna do anything really with it. I'm gonna go executor and maybe bait in Heatran. If if Heatran comes in, that would be amazing. But yeah, no, Clefable makes more sense. Um. I'm gonna go slow, bro. Maybe bait it in the heat train now. Hmm. Okay, he goes Torkoal. And I think I trick room again. Or I go Hatterene, actually, to avoid rocks. Ah, oh, now he goes Heatran. Okay. If he was trying to get me there, that means he got me. He did it. I'm gonna go stack attack. Uh, I'm burned. He just kills me. Slowbro should live. Torkoal... I think this is the only thing I can go and do. I'm gonna trick room. Oh no, all right, that's game. Torgal, if you live, you should have told me earlier. What is he doing? Ah, oh, you should have told me earlier. Yep, then I could have had my Slowbro around still. I mean, I got one Trick Rumor left. I'm gonna go Hatterene. I mean, he definitely kills me. Or doesn't kill me, but it, like a 2 a KO, probably. I think I just have to click Psy Shock. Yeah. Damn. Well... I think I ended up going like 50-50, which still I think it's still pretty good. I, I definitely still like the team a lot. I, I had a, oh, I, when I saw that, I was like, whoa, did he forfeit? But no, he just killed me. Um, this was the first variation of the team. It was this, but I didn't like it as much. It's just like bulky and stuff. And while I had Trick Room up quite often, because just because these guys are so easy to switch into and stuff, it's just like, it wasn't as fun. And they didn't get kills like this team does. Um, but at the same time, I probably could make this team a little more, like have a little more something to it. Because like Executor didn't really do a whole lot. That was the guy I was changing at the end. But either way, I think the team is pretty fun. Um, there'll be a link in the description of Pokey Paste. Um, thank you guys for watching. And, and if you did enjoy, like and subscribe for more uh, for vid more videos like this. Uh, like I said, I'll be trying to do this weekly or I'll keep doing this weekly and hopefully in the near future, get back to streaming and, um, do some fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, there's a link to the discord and the Twitch and Twitter in the description below too. So if you're on any of those things, feel free to follow there too. But yeah, till next time, peace out.